Hi folks, Max from GalaxyNote3Root.com for this week's ROM of the Week. Check out XNote again, the latest version of XNote ROM. Uh, this is one of my favorite ROMs for the SMN9005. You can also install it if you have a T-Mobile uh, SMN9002T or Canadian uh, N900W8. Uh, to install on T-Mobile or Canadian, you do have to do additional steps, uh, which I have a full tutorial uh, guide with a full step-by-step -step, uh, video tutorial. I'll have linked to it on my site, so make sure you check that out if you're going to install it on T-Mobile or Canadian Note 3. Also, for uh, T-Mobile users, you will lose Wi-Fi calling because this is based off the international LT model. Uh, also, um, you will be able to Wi-Fi tether out of the box on T-Mobile Note 3 as it's an international ROM. It doesn't have those you know, unnecessary T-Mobile uh, blocks um, that T-Mobile put in. So nice stuff. A uh, very nice ROM. I really love you know, the layout, the slight theming. Uh, probably my favorite part about this ROM is the kilobytes per second. It shows you uh, how many kilobytes are being used in and out of your internet connection or your Wi-Fi cellu or cellular connection for GLT. Um, very nice to have. You know, I know some some of the apps on the Android, especially like the cheap games and stuff or free games. Some of them kind of install their apps on it by itself, and you wake up the next day, you have like ten new games that you didn't install. Uh, well, this will allow you to kind of see uh, what's going on in the background because you'll be able to tell how many kilobytes are being used on your phone. Um, so very nice to have and handy to have. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you. It is based off 4.3 SMN9005 uh, firmware. And it is pretty much Samsung firmware with all the stuff you don't need removed. Um, while it adds some cool stuff, uh, all the cool stuff you might want on the Note 3, such as floating pen window app, you can add all of your favorite apps to your uh, pen windows. And also, multi window manager app allows you to add all of your favorite apps to your multi window. Uh, let me go ahead and show you that real quick for those of you um, who are new to custom ROMs. There we go. So, I can have my camera open and my browser open at the same time. Not that I recommend it, I'm just gonna show it to you as an example. And I've also added camera to my pen window here. Yep. Yeah, I think I missed it. There we go. And let's put the camera there. So very nice uh, way to add all of your favorite apps. And this is, you know, the basics of uh, rooting a Note 3. One of the biggest reasons because, you know, now you can add all of your favorite apps um, and especially if you install a ROM like this, it gives you everything. You don't have to go find the hack, install it manually. Um, it gives you everything you need. Um, you can get Pi controls here, add your favorite shortcuts. Um, you know, when you're running, you don't even have to use any buttons. Just go to your screen middle here and just go straight home or wherever. So very nice stuff. Um, and I do also have a full tutorial guide on LMT Launcher. I'll have that on my site, so look for the, the link to the video if you want to see how to set it all up, um, you know, pretty nice stuff. Also, you can disable ads um, if you want. I don't actually like to use it much because, you know, for webmasters such as myself, it uh, actually blocks all kinds of stats that I actually need to see uh, on a daily basis. Also, it does block a lot of email newsletters. So when you try to sign up uh, with it on, I um, mean, might block it. So. Uh, if you try to sign up any for any of the newsletters on my site and you can't sign up, just turn off your uh, ad blocker and then sign up, and then you can put it back on. Um, just a quick advice there. It also does come with a battery bar here. You can set. Um, you can see I've got a nice little battery bar here there, and also wallpapers. A ton of wallpapers, uh, including the Note 3 and S4 wallpapers, I think and some nice wallpapers here so for those of you who like new wallpapers definitely this one has a ton of wallpapers um so pretty cool stuff and torchlight there and also xno reboot menu nice and colorful reboot menu there and also you get additional reboot menus there too um so very nice and also you can get updates rom updates through once you install it um uh, but the, my recommendation is actually download it on your computer. Uh, last yesterday, I tried to download like five different ROMs on my phone, and they all like four out of five failed. You know, so it is a lot more reliable, especially with the Note 3 ROMs. The you know 
they can become like it, especially if they're large like this rom is like almost over a gigabyte um you know the phones don't handle the large files as well as your desktop computer or laptop um so definitely i would recommend downloading these huge files on your computer uh, well for aosp roms then you can download on your phone because only like 100 megabytes 200 megabytes they never fail but for anything over one gigabyte it fails on me all the time even though i have really good internet i get 100 megabits per second uh download speeds here where i live um so bandwidth isn't the problem it's just the cpus on these mobile phones aren't designed to download uh, such large files as for sound uh, i do recommend um this one does have an option for acid sound and one other one uh, i do recommend viper for android over these don't install these and just install viper for android um viper for android beats all these apps hands down that's my opinion um so definitely check that out um there are also other features uh where you can install um exposed framework let me actually show you how to get into it um, if you go into Xnote control and go to expose module, it should actually, actually be module. Um, go to expose framework, go to framework, and go ahead and hit install update. That will turn green. Once that turns green, go to modules, enable any of the modules you want to uh, use. I've enabled expose app settings, uh, which this one basically oops, will allow you to run your favorite apps uh, in tablets. Or custom DPI mode for example if I want to make the calendar uh, make look bigger or something I can put this uh, DPI font scale make the font smaller bigger all that good stuff I actually have a full tutorial guide on that so check that out I'll have a link on my site for those of you new to this and also you can enable call recording if you need that uh, no increasing ringtone Greenify um, experiment and features. I don't really use that app much, um, but for those of you who don't know how to use your phone, it may help you, and uh, that option is there. Expose re recent tasks from. Once you enable these modules, you do have to reboot. Um, also, for the multi-window manager app and also the pen window manager app, make sure you reboot. Otherwise, you'll not be able to um, actually make changes there. Um, that's about it, but this is the latest version. Um, it is super fast. And also does come with a choice of uh, TouchWiz launcher or Android 4.4 KitKat launcher I have here and also the Google Cards work. The only thing not working is actually the uh, voice Google Now search. But, you know, pretty good deal. You get the latest Android 4.4 KitKat working flawless out of the box along with all of these features. Um, also, you can install Android 4.3 Photosphere if you want. Uh, that's my recommended option. And does come, I think, does come with some more keyboards. Uh, let me see if I can show you that real quick. And I think, no, it doesn't. Um, well, that's about it. Do check it out for this week's runway. If you do have an SMN9005, T-Mobile SMN900T, or Canadian SMN900W8, and do let me know what you think. And as always, if you have a Note 3, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at Galaxy Note 3. Root.com, we update you once a week with Rom of the Week stuff like this, tips, hacks, and more. Whoa. And thanks guys for watching my video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and the subscribe button below here uh, to get more cool ROM reviews, tips, tricks, and more. And also check out video of the week over here if you haven't yet. And as always, uh, stay on Android.